You know, one of the things I hear all the time is that bread is too hard to make and it is the easiest thing you can possibly put together and it just takes a few simple ingredients. Now, this bread dough, which is going to be a focaccia, is really simple and I'm using some warm potato that's in a bowl. I've just crushed it or you can mash it. It doesn't really matter. Easy peasy, that's what it's all about. And to that, I'm going to add some yeast, just some dried yeast straight on top of it. The warmth from the potato will get the yeast nice and activated. Now, I'm going to add some flour. This is plain flour, but it has a high protein, which means it's perfect for pizza bases, loaves and whatever bread. And this particular focaccia will be outstanding with this flour. Now, I'm going to add some olive oil here. So I just make a little well in the centre and pour in the extra virgin olive oil. That will give it an amazing flavour and also make the dough nice and crisp as well. Now, I'll also add some warm water, which helps to activate that yeast. There you go, just a few simple ingredients. I will hold back a little bit of water, just in case, and then a pinch of salt. And then with a wooden spoon, I just start to mix it together until the dough starts to form. And to me, that is one of the most relaxing things to do, kneading bread. Now, once it's come together like this, and you can see, it doesn't take much at all. And once you've got it together, you just tip it on the bench. And here's another little tip. I just grab a pinch of flour like this, Dust the board like that, move everything out of the way and tip it straight onto the bench like that. Make sure I get all of the goodness out of the bowl because I don't want to waste anything. And then to knead, it's just a simple thing. Using your hands, you bring it together and push it away. Nice and gently like that. There's no force required. There's no machinery required. It's just a matter of just pushing it back and forward like this until everything comes together. What I'm looking for is the potato and the flour to come together and work themselves so they become a nice, firm dough. And a couple of goes like this is all you need. Now, if you find it's getting a little bit sticky, it's just a matter of grabbing a little bit more flour and dusting the board again, popping the dough down and just gently working it like this. This is so easy, even a five-year-old could do this. And in fact, it's something I've taught my young boys to do. It does make a bit of a mess, I know, but it's really easy. Look at that, it looks fantastic. Now, once it's together like this, all we need to do is prove it. So I'll pick it up like this and pop it back into the bowl. Now, it's gonna prove and you wanna keep it nice and moist. So you need to put some Glad Wrap over the top of it to seal it off. So all of that moisture stays in the bowl where it belongs. Tear it off like that and seal it around the outside. Now to prove it, you need to pop it somewhere nice and warm for about an hour so it doubles in size. And when it doubles in size, it looks like this. Have a look. How easy is that? And you can see the moisture on the top here has stayed in the bowl. And that's what the dough needs to stay hydrated and nice and moist. And look at that, it's come up beautifully and it's nice and soft. Now I'll show you how easy this part is. I pop a tray down here, a nice heavy tray and make sure your oven's preheated. I grab some extra virgin olive oil and pour it onto the tray here like that. That will help it fry on the bottom and be nice and crisp. Rub it around with your fingers and it's okay to have some of the oil on your hands because it's just gonna go all over the focaccia dough and make it even more delicious. I pull out the dough like that and then pop it straight onto the tray. See how soft it is? And because I've kept it nice and moist with the Glad Wrap, it's still just a little bit sticky, but that's okay. So just with gentle hands, I move it out to the side here, stretch it out nice and slowly, and you can see that's coming together beautifully. This dough is really soft and supple, and that's what I'm looking for. And you can see, once you hold it out for a little bit, it stretches out and wants to stay. That's looking really good. Now it's time to load it up. Anchovy, not everyone loves anchovy, I love them. So I'll grab a few of these babies here and just tear them off and spread them all over the focaccia dough like this. If you don't like anchovies, you don't have to put them on. I love the saltiness and the flavor that anchovies give this. Some olives, sprinkle some of these green olives around the outside like that. And I've got some of these olives as well. Different type of olives, but they will make this really nice. It's almost like a pizza without any sauce. Because I made it and call it a focaccia, I know it's even better than pizza. Well, almost better than pizza. A little bit of rosemary around the outside here and then some salt over the top to make it even more salty. 
and some extra virgin olive oil. Now, I could let this focaccia prove if I wanted to, but when it goes into the oven, it will puff up again. So just by pushing everything together like this into the focaccia, and you can see how it spreads out beautifully. Plenty of olive oil on there, which means it'll fry up and be nice and crisp and have that lovely potato flour. That looks great, and that is really easy. Into a preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius. Nothing is better than home-baked bread. There we go, I've let it cool down a little bit, and I'll just grab the corner here and slide it out. Look at that, it comes out beautifully. It smells fantastic, and the thing you'll notice about the potato in there, it makes it a lot denser and almost a little bit sweeter as well. I've cut through the middle here, nice bit of crunch on there. Look at that, fantastic. Now, we have to have a little taste of it. A Couple of little pieces like this. And this is how I would serve it. Just cut it through here like this. It's almost something you would serve at the start of a dinner, or maybe if you've got some friends around for a barbecue. A lovely flavoured bread like this, or focaccia. Really, really easy to do, and guaranteed to be really tasty. Mm. That is so good. Mm.